Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually add in some math equations using some join blocks. So it's gonna make it so that your sprites can actually say the answer to an equation. So for example, we press the green flag. If I click on the letter C here, so it says the years in which Chief Washiki was born, some time between. And then it tells you that that was at least 211 years ago. Now, if I were to record this five years from now, it'd say at least 216 years ago. So it actually changes depending on what year it is. So if we look inside of the code, we've got, okay, join, that was at least join current year minus 1810 years ago for four seconds. Okay, that's weird. So let's talk about how to use these blocks together. All right, so inside of Scratch, we have some operator blocks. So the operator blocks can do some math for us. So for example, if we wanted to do four plus four, if we click on this, it says eight. Okay, so four plus four is eight. Awesome. So we could put this inside of here and say, tell us eight for two seconds. Okay, that's neat and all, but I wanna actually make it so that it's a full sentence and not just like uh, speaking before and then it says the answer. I wanna have it say it all in one particular phrase. So let me unconnect this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a join block to do that. So we're going to say, I know that four, whoops, plus four equals, not banana, equals this. Okay, so each one of these bubbles can have like different phrases. So for example, if I click right now, it says, I know that four plus four equals banana but we could put inside of here an equation. So for example, this. So now if we put it inside of our say block, it's going to say, I know that four plus four equals eight. But if you look real close, it's actually smushing together the equal sign with the answer. So there isn't a space here. So whenever you're doing this, you have to make sure between each one of the joins that you include a space like this. Otherwise it's going to smush everything together and we don't want that. Okay, so that looks great. So now I want to show you that you can actually use multiple, whoops, join box, wrong block, and you can actually stack these together. So if you really wanted to, you can have a really long one and be like, okay, join, apple, join, apple, join, apple, join, apple, banana. Perfect. So now when you say it, it says apple, 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 banana. Okay? So you can add in a bunch of different equations. So you could be like, I know that four plus four equals eight and that 10 plus 10 equals 20. And you can make that all one sentence that appears in a sprite. Okay, that's cool, but this doesn't really answer the thing that I demonstrated in the project with Chief Washiki. Okay, so I wanna show you how you can actually make it so that you have the age displayed of something. So to do that, we're going to actually use a sensing block. And so we're going to say the current year, and then we're going to use the operator block minus. So I was born in 1985, so I'm gonna say 1985. So we're gonna say the current year minus 1985, and this will give us the math result. So it says 36, and that's true. My birthday is this Friday, and I will be 36. Okay, so now what we can do is we can say, I am, and then space at the end, and we're gonna say 36 years old. So I'm gonna add in another block in here, another join block, and I'm gonna do space, years old and i'm going to put this inside of our join block like this okay so i am does the equation so it should say 36 years old so now when i click on it, it says i am 36 years old awesome okay so that's how you can use the join blocks to display some math equations and to even display the age of something thank you so much for watching this video let us know something that you learned or created in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, like, and check out the links in the description for even more free resources, such as videos, free lesson plans, and our podcast.